Hello there and welcome to Ray Dog's Random Thoughts. Ray Sean Blyden here. You know, when Truth Social first came out, it was a fiasco trying to even get on there to the point where when I finally did get on, I don't really use it, if I'm being honest. I don't. I still have it. But anyway, that is what we're going to be talking about today. There seems to be a merger happening. And they're saying that there might be a roadblock for Trump. So let's get into that, shall we? We shall. It says Trump position to make a bank on truth social merger. But wait, there's more. Are some hurdles. What are the hurdles? Well, his name is Donald J. Trump, is my opinion. But let's read the story. Trump Media and Technology Group, that's TMTG, TMTG, say that fast, TMTG, TMTG, I can't say it fast. The company that owns Truth Social has received FEC approval to merge with Digital World Acquisition Corp, that's DWAC, DWAC. The latter is a purpose acquisition company and its merger with TMTG means that Truth Social will soon be dun, 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 a publicly traded entity. According to Reuters, Truth Social, or rather its parent company, will be valued at as much as $10 billion, which is reportedly about half the valuation of the competition I mean, of the competing social media platform X. So they're saying it's half the evaluation of X. We are immensely proud of the strides we've taken towards advancing the business combination, DWAC CEO Eric Swider said in a statement. The Achievement marks a significant milestone for us. Our sincere thanks go to our shareholders for their unwavering support. We are excited to soon share the news of the business combinations approval process with them, he added. Now, what I want more conservatives to do are things like this because... The liberals, well, you don't even want, I don't even want to call them liberals. The wackos, the left-leaning wackos, they have a foothold on social media and these type of platforms. We cannot allow this to happen anymore. I believe Vivek, he had something to say about that. I was uh, listening to one of his interviews. He's, he's absolutely right on that. You can't allow them to have a foothold on certain things. So... We need more, more billionaires who are conservative, right-leaning, or even in, who who who's even uh, down the road, the middle of the road, who don't sway either side. Need to buy up more of these entities because if we let them get a foothold on this, although they are the the minority. I think that if you let them or allow them to continue to be the leading voice in media, social media, and even movies and such, then they're going to have more people join the bandwagon. But I can, I can really tell that the pendulum is swinging back to the right because they are, they've gone off the left rail, way off the left rail. So... There we have it, but let's get to to why there must be might be some hurdles if we could continue reading here. The merger and valuations are remarkable because Truth Social has a limited user base and has sustained years of losses. And again, I do have it, but I don't really use it. So I mean, I don't even know what my username would be. I'd have to look because I honestly I don't really use it in case you do use it and you want to follow me let's see let's find it let's find it real quick 
my truth social name is at reh underscore d o double g underscore entertainment so there you go i won't put that in the just if you remember it that's fine but i really don't use it so it won't really matter but continuing the value assigned to the deal by the stock market has jumped more than threefold since january as former president donald trump tightened his grip on the republic the republication nomination and trump will own between 58.1 percent and 69.4 percent of the combined company depending on the extent to which investors back the deal routers no speaking of of that i might do a, a, a story actually maybe i'll do it here if I could find it but about the ruling the 355 million whatever it is some Trump fans has put up a GoFundMe page to fund it so we'll we might get into that we'll see how long I run here but in a filing submitted Wednesday DWAC reportedly said Trump will likely divest his stake in Truth Social if he's re-elected president so maybe that's the derail they're talking about that said, the deal isn't exactly finalized yet. To be sure, Digital World also disclosed new obstacles, here we go, to the deal being completed. One of them is former Digital World CEO Patrick Orlando, who helped create Digital World in its current form and controls the sponsoring entity behind it. Digital World said in the filing that Orlando may hold up the deal because he wants to receive additional compensation according to routers so there you go money 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 is what it's amounting to the washington post a leftist outlet notes that trump could wind up earning a great deal of money from this merger as the merger would unlock 300 billion dollars in investor funds the approval is a victory for trump who will hold more than 78 million shares in the post-merger company of filing shows a stake that at current prices would be worth nearly four billion dollars according to the post trump who would own between 58 and 69 percent of the company and other investors could earn tens of millions more shares through a provision known as an earnout. I don't know what it is, I'm not good with stocks, tied to stocks performance, the post reported. But wait, there's a catch. Jay Ritter, a finance professor at the University of Florida, told the post the money is paper wealth with the emphasis on paper since his company tmtg shares cannot currently be sold why not well because tmtg's top stockholders including trump agreed to a lock up period that prohibits them from selling any shares during the first six months after the merger officially goes through. If the merger occurs in April, for instance, Trump would not be able to sell his shares until October, at which point their value may have changed considerably, the Post notes. The problem according to Ritter, is that TMTG's valuation doesn't match Truth Social's performance. It's, it's true, it, it really is. Trump Media generated $3.4 million in revenue and lost $49 million during the first nine months. Well, I think that, just my opinion, I have a lot to do with how horrible the rollout was. I tried and tried tried to sign up so many times and it kept failing and failing until I just gave up and then until a friend at the time I don't know how many months later he said I signed up and got in with no problem and I tried again and I got in 
But by then, I was already like, eh, I don't really care. I'm just, just a formality, but I don't use it. But anyway, so I think that's why it went down in value. People stopped trying to sign up. I mean, if you, if you can't sign up, you're going to get frustrated. That's, I got frustrated. I was like, all right, I'm done with this. So anyway... TMTG is a money losing company that generates less than five million per year. Reddit said, adding that DWAC in turn is a classic meme stock whose price is totally unrelated to the underlying fundamentals. I don't know how true or false this is, but if you believe he's right, let me know. If you believe he's wrong, let me know in the comments below. In a statement, TMTG Chief Executive Devin Nunes, or is it, yeah, Devin Nunes, the former, I knew his name sound familiar, the former Republican congressman, for his part, sounded excited about the company's plans to accelerate our work to build a free speech highway outside the stranglehold of big tech. This is what I'm tying back into what I was saying previously. More people of power with money need, uh, let me rephrase, people who are either down the middle or right-leaning or conservative or libertarian need to buy up more things like this and swing the pendulum, although it's already happening. A lot of young, youngins are straying away from Biden because, well, he's Biden. What do you expect? And I would love, I don't know about you, but I would love Vivek, although I I think he, he needs a position better than a vice president, but if the if he takes, or if Trump picked Vivek for his running mate, it'll draw in some more young folks. Vivek is an, an amazing communicator, so I feel that would be a plus. I love Trump, but he's not the best communicator of his ideas sometimes. He's a bit brass. And so I think that a Vivek would be great. And then he could obviously pick up the mantle and run in 2028, and he will definitely be a shoe in I know he got my vote for sure. So, anyway, what do you think about that? What do you think? I, again... I, I just feel that it just took too long. At launch, it was there was so much hiccups that that's the reason why they lost so much money because people got sick of trying to sign up and so they lost a lot of, of people. So that's all I really got to say about this. Oh, actually, wait. I said I was going to try to... What was I talking about? Let's see if I could find a story about fans who um oh did I close it out fans who want to pay for uh, Trump's 355 million dollar um let's see I gotta find it hold on bear with me here is this it nah I'm looking I'm looking alright Maggie stop it stop it girl uh what do we got here what do we got? What do we got? I'm still looking. I thought I saw it here. Let's see. Here we go. Trump fans launch ago. Let's look. Let's pull this up. Let's just get this on the big screen here. Give me a second to get this ready for you. Uh, Maggie, get out of there, girl. Move, girl, move it, move. You wanna say hello, huh? You wanna say hello? Up, 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 girl, up. Jump, 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 jump. Good girl, all right, say hello, there you go. This is Maggie, I know you guys met Chippy before, but this is Maggie. All right, Maggie, get, get off of me, that's enough, get down. All right, so, Maggie's a, a little bit over a year. So she's my second rescue, and Chip is just chilling, because he's a studio dog. He knows how to chill. All right, let's find it. So here we go. Let's get into this. Okay, Maggie, back off, little girl. 
Little girl, move. Go lie down somewhere. Move it. Move it or lose it. Trump fans launch GoFundMe to raise $355 million for ex pres who which he owes after civil fraud trial. Keyword F R A U D spells fraud. Fans of former President Donald Trump have turned to online fundraising. You know, guys, I hate to tell you this, but you really should have used a different platform than GoFundMe because they're, I'm shocked that they haven't taken it down because GoFundMe is definitely left-leaning. So, but I digress. To help a massive, uh, that's another thing, this may be a red herring, this may not even be uh, for Trump actually, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, they recently, the recent legal battles he faces are not just an attack on him, but an attack on the very ideas or ideals of fairness and due process that every American deserves. Read the GoFundMe effort there. It looks like so far they raised 55613 Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm not a GoFundMe fan. They really are a left-leaning um, platform. They've so many things that they've done, like, like with Kyle Rittenhouse. I can't remember exactly what it was, but they're just... It's not a good organization if you are on the right, put it that way. They're really not. But anyway, you can certainly look it up and see if it's legit or not to you. But that's all I got for ya. I'll leave a like, share, and subscribe, and I shall return. Feel good.